Hello, it's Sharon, your guitar guide, helping you find your sound. And today, if you want to learn all about arpeggiated chords and songs with arpeggios in them, then you've come to the right place, because that's coming up. to your guitar guide where I'm going to help you find your sound through guitar lessons, music, and gear reviews. So if this is your first time here, have a look around. If you like what you see, consider subscribing for more guitar tips and tricks. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And for all you that are already subscribed, thanks for supporting the channel. Today I'm going to teach you an arpeggio guitar lesson and stay tuned because at the end I'm going to tell you how you can get three iconic songs that have arpeggios in them and stay tuned to the ends I'll give you the information. First off in this arpeggiated guitar lesson let's take a look at what we're talking about with an arpeggiated chord. We'll have a better understanding of what we're trying to accomplish so, so when we're playing a C chord for example you're strumming it but if we're going to arpeggiate the chord we're going to Take individual strings and we're gonna do it in a sequence. So instead of we're gonna let's take a look at the chords that we're gonna be using in this lesson. We've got a C and we got a C7, which is putting your pinky down here on the G string, the third string, A minor, F. There's lots of different ways to play an F. You need help playing any of the F chords, whether it be a bar chord or a simple F. Take a look at that lesson right there. That should help you out. And then come back and check out this. So we've got an F and then a G. So you're probably used to making a G like this or like this. So if you get used to this F Bar these two strings, the first two strings, second finger is on the third string, second fret, third finger, fourth string, third fret. Then we move it up a whole step, which is one fret, two frets. So now we're playing a G. Then we've got an E minor. A bar chord, an F bar chord. Mm -hmm. 
then a G. G bar chord. And that's all the chords for this lesson. I want to show you how we're going to arpeggiate the chord and go over each individual chord on what strings we're going to be playing. So make it easier for you. And if you need to learn how to make the chord, well, this isn't the lesson on how to make the chord. But not to worry, because over at yourguitarguide.com, there's lots of free information on how to make these chords. So let me go over what strings we're going to play for each chord. First chord is going to be the C. Once you set up your fretting hand to make the C, we're going to play these strings here. Five, four, three, two. And then we're going to come back up. Two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, three, four. Then we're going to play an A minor. Get your hand in position for the A minor, and we're going to play strings. Five, four, three, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, three, four. Which is the same as the C. So go. Do it two times through like that, and then go to A minor. Then we go to the F. And we're going to play. Four, three, two, one, two, three. Four, three, two, one, two, three. And you're only going to do it two times through. Then we slide up. Two frets to the G, and we're going to play the same strings. Four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two. What we've got so far, here's the C. goes back to the C. Now one thing when you're starting to learn how to arpeggiate a chord you want to be looking down here at this picking hand so you can see what strings you're hitting. This hand is in autopilot. And starting out probably going to take a little bit of practice so take the C chord and don't worry about the rest of the chords until you've mastered playing that C chord then go to A minor chord and once you get the A minor chord mastered go back to the C then practice transition into the A minor chord once you get them work on that F Practice going from C to A minor to F. And then you get to the G, master it, and you get all four chords. Look in verse, instead of going to the F, you don't play the F. So it goes C, A minor, G. playing the G right then you're doing it four times instead of two times through we're gonna go back to the A minor play that twice then the E minor
which is 5432345432334. You'll notice that a lot of the strings are the same. So once you get the 543234 down pat, you'll be able to play at least three of the chords. So E minor. Play it through twice, then go to the A minor. Back to E minor. A minor. F. G. Back to C. And we got a C7, which is putting your pinky down here on the G string, the third string. And when you play the C7, you're going to play it two times through, and then we're going to the F bar chord. F bar chord. F bar chord, we're going to play six, five, four, three. Four, five. Then go to the G, which is two frets up, and play the same strings. Six, five, four, three, four, five. Six, five, four, three, four, five. The F bar chord, we're going. You're only playing it one time through, down and up, and then move back to the F, back to G, F, G, C. You need help with bar chords? I have a course over at yourguitarguide.com that covers all the secrets to playing bar chords and their different positions, so check that out. I said I was going to give you information how to get three free guitar lessons over at yourguitarguide.com and the three links will be in the descriptions of this video and if you like this video could you give it a thumbs up click that like button leave me a comment share it with your friends and don't forget to watch these videos here thanks